Hello guys, it's DJ Bull from the DJ Gamers Project and today we're going to be doing something a little different I've just been messing around in my redstone world just creating new doors that I want to put in my um, let's play world so I'll just test them out but yeah I've got some signs here all these redstone creations were created by me I did not follow any video tutorials so I designed them they might be the same or similar to others which means I did all of these uh, they might be the same just a little different but yeah I've just been messing around and creating them while, while doing that I found a glitch the writing actually comes off the sign and onto that sign it's a bit weird so yeah we'll start with the first one if we were the right way I'm going to be showing you how to do these as well first of all it's just a 3 by 3 door this is one of my tutorials already so I'm not going to be showing you this one it's just got a different layout where these come in first the top and bottom then these they're just timed so they just look a bit cooler um, and plus there's no redstone after it the next one failed so I'm not going to show you that one <laughs> uh, this one here if again to the right place it's not a very big one, it's just they all come out at different angles and I thought it looked cool. This one is a wall which when is on you can like walk behind here or something. I'm probably not gonna use that one because I don't like the look at the front of the pistons. And then this one I'm gonna put in here. I think this is my best creation that I actually made is a 4x4 four four door which took me ages to figure out it ends in 2x2 two two, but it's just like a 4x4 four four wall so it looks like nothing at all and when you open it you just go through so I'm not going to show you how to make that one because I've already showed you this one all it is is the lever it comes out and goes under into the bottom piston which is just after that and then it goes around to the other side down on the ground which just does that one it's very simple this one that one just goes along into that piston and then up on the top to that piston they're all one tick delays just to say that's the only repeaters I've got, just the ones that connect to the pistons. So they're all on one tick, that's why they all open together. Without any delays between them. The wall is very simple again, the lever is behind this block. And the power just comes out. Along this row, powering the inverted switches. Which they power both the two lines, that's why there's only three lines of it. And then you go if you don't have to do this because some people will ask me how to do this you just to make go up just onto a different level you put a repeater there and then it powers that block which you just take up onto there so then when I turn it on it comes up onto here and log in and it's the same they power the inverted pit inverted switches here all the way along and this one here goes up again to this row. It's a very simple again. Just a wall. Alright, so now the big one. I'm not very good at explaining things, so just try. If you're gonna try copy this, just stop the video and then just look at the way I've put the redstone. Okay, so all it is is. Well, not really all it is because there's quite a lot to it. Oh, I wasn't meant to do that. <laughs> I wonder why that was. Alright, it comes out of here, in, down into here, where this was. An inverted switch. Just so it was always on. Like that. And then I'll show you the rest of that in a minute. This one goes into an inverted switch gang, because that one couldn't fit with that one. So then. Is it on? It's not meant to be. Alright, it still works. 
So all of this is on. So the first one, it just goes under. There's a line of three pistons here, which bring out the outside ones just on this side. So it's powered the bottom one here and go up, power the second one here. And then we got this thing going up, powering that one there. So that's how them three works. And then the top three is just repeaters going into them with a three sec with four tick delay even. Just so is the same as all the other outside rings. Then that's just connected to that one there. That we just shoot. Just change it to day. Yes, yeah, so that's the connects to that one again, which just goes up. Now this goes around all the way to these three, which is exactly the same. That one's powering the bottom one. And then it goes up here. And that one's powering that one in the middle. And then that one's powering that one. Because I don't know why that this doesn't power that one. Which I don't get, but oh well. And then the bottom ones is quite hard to explain because there's quite a lot of stuff here. But it's very simple. Just them three repeaters are linked to the bottom ones which come out. And then at the bottom there. Very simple. Let's stay there. Right now, the middle bit here, you may have seen this door before. It's just two pull out ones and they extend and come out. Like that. That end bit there. So, what this does is these here, these power the top and bottom ones. Is on altogether an eight tick delay. Oh uh, yeah, that's it. So that's on an eight tick delay. So that comes out last. And the same with this one, but this one's pretty different. You just have to mess around with the timings, because that's four, and then that's five, that's six, that's seven, and then that's eight. So it's pretty weird, but. It's not too hard, I presume. Then these just go along the bottom, just in a box there. So then that's always on, so then when it comes over, these extend. And the same with the top ones here, which just come down and join up. And yeah, I think that's about everything. You can then just build a room like this. You could probably put that underground. Or just make some stairs going up like that. Oh yeah. That's everything for this episode guys. It was just a bit different. Just to show what I do in my wrestling world. And what's to come in my let's play. So now I know this door is going to come. Somewhere. I don't know where yet. I'm still thinking about it. But it should be for a main room I think. Because it takes up quite a lot of space. I'll try to compact it. Near to the time when I put it in because I need some slime balls first but yeah with the timing if you're gonna mess around with it these four these this outer ring has to come out first because these will extend out to here and then the piston will then like push both two blocks and they'll get jammed and then I wouldn't keep like flicking the lever like that because it will break like that <laughs> If it does break, then I don't have a clue what I've done, so. Oh yeah, I do. Yeah, you just do that. Just repair the wall. Then it should be fine again. Okay guys, that's everything. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.